honey, beans, and tree, and some honey. Okay, um, we, we're going to go ahead and start. Can we go back? Go ahead. Sure. Come, 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 come. Join us. She can get in the picture with her flower. One of the things we wanted to just say, the irony of being in front of 55 Hanson Place is that this, this is a monument to Shirley Chisholm, first congresswoman, first black congresswoman that actually comes from our district. She is the first black congresswoman ever she came from Brooklyn, she came from Crown Heights, and her motto was, unbought, unbought. That's the irony of this. It's because now we have Lori Cumbo, who is now residing in the same building. And we say clearly that she is bought, bought and bought. And bought. 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 bought and bought. And bought. Completely contradictory. One of the things that we did is we filed a lawsuit against Lori Cumbo a lawsuit against the city planning, a lawsuit against the developers, because they are attempting to break a community plan that was put in place in 1991 to protect the community and the Book and Botanic Gardens. They have devised a scam in which they're allowing two major developers, just two people, uh -huh. to break a community plan without doing an environmental assessment impact, all under the guise of creating affordable housing. But we say that the affordable housing is a scam because when we look at what they are providing us, they're providing us with both rent burden and severe rent burden apartments in our community. Not one apartment will be eligible, will the community residents be able to afford? Because the target population is not for the existing residents, mm -hmm. but yep. for the new residents that they plan on coming into mm -hmm. this community. Yep. Yep. This right. This is a classic example of David and Goliath. Mm. We are David. <laughs> Our corrupt politicians is Goliath. Yep. <laughs> but we will persevere and we will win because we have right on our side. Yep. We will continue to fight this development. My team. Woo! Woo! We have organized, researched, followed this development and we watched the Department of City Planning and we watched our elected officials allow the developer to lie, lie, lie right. on their applications so they do not have to be held accountable for creating the largest residential complexes in Brooklyn yep. that will overshadow our community, that will overshadow our garden permanently, destroying what we now have, a community and a garden. We've already been told that if these developments go up, that half of the plant life at the Book of Botanical Gardens will be gone. This is what the experts have said, but our elected officials, all the way high up in those office, yep. keep saying, no, we need this development because it's creating affordable housing. No. But that is the scam, no. and we are tired of the scam. No. So we have been given a temporary restraining order against the smaller of the two developments. because we know once cement is poured, the deal is done. Yeah, yeah. And while they cannot build, we will continue in the courts as well as in the streets mm -hmm. demanding that this development and these developments stop. Cannot demanding that the 1991 community plan be upheld yeah. because 